Hi, I'm Eli Shagan. Today, we're not just cooking, we're cooking contaminated. Welcome once again to Cooking Contaminated. I am here with my good friend, Chris Grigg from Woe, and we are here to make food. Uh, Chris, you are not the greatest chef, I understand. That is true. Um, I basically, left to my own devices, live off of ramen noodles and macaroni and cheese. Well, lucky for you, we are going to kind of step that up and make the deluxe version of that meal. Uh, we'll place your ramen with some collard greens, that are going to be banging, vegetarian collard greens, vegan collard greens, and my baked macaroni and cheese. So let's get started here first. We're going to make the collard greens. Uh, first thing you want to do, get your greens ready. I have already cleaned these greens off, so now I'm just going to give them a real rough chop. Just watch your fingers when you do this. Just throw that into a bowl here. Now that the greens are chopped, we need to go ahead and chop one onion and five cloves of garlic. Now, while I chop this onion, we just taught Chris how to chop garlic, so he's going to go ahead and chop the garlic up for us. Aren't you big guy? Done. All right. I'm done with this onion. We're going to go ahead and add that to the bowl of collard greens. And we'll go ahead and add the garlic too that Chris totally just massacred. All right, all our vegetables are ready and chopped. They're in a bowl. So we're going to add them all into a pot with a base of three and a half cups of vegetable stock into a big old pot. I'm going to throw in our veggies. Come on. All right, and to those vegetables, we're gonna add one cup of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, and then we're gonna put a cover on that, bring it to a boil, and once it gets to a boil, then we're gonna lower it to simmer. Now usually, when I'm making greens, I use a smoked ham hock to put in the greens. Uh, I'm not using that now, I'm using the smoked paprika because of your dietary restrictions. Well, uh, let's hear a little bit about those. Uh, are you vegetarian now or? Well, I was vegetarian for just about 12 years, um, but I kind of broke it a few months ago. Uh, kind of had like a philosophical realignment, just kind of questioned why I was doing it and realized I was kind of only doing it out of habit. Right. Um, so you weren't just having dreams about hamburgers? I, well, I was, I was. I have dreams about hamburgers too. So that's, that's all we got to say about that. Okay, so once this gets to a boil again, drop it down to a simmer. We can just let that cook for a while. At least 45 minutes, it's going to get all nice and tender. All right, so now we have our water boiling. I'm going to add one box, pretty much, uh, I guess, one pound of macaroni. So that boiling water box should do. All right, now I just put the pasta into the water to boil. We're going to cook it right before al dente because it will cook the rest of the way in the oven. But any star of the mac and cheese is, of course, the cheese. And let's go ahead and run down what cheese we're going to use here to cook the pound in. First off, we're going to have eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese six ounces of Asiago cheese, four ounces of Munster cheese, and a half cup of grated Parmesan. While I cut up some more onion and garlic, Chris, would you do the honors and shred the cheese for me? I can definitely shred. Fantastic. <laughs> Take a bath, take a bath, 
So we drained our pasta, now we have to make our cheese sauce, which is a pretty standard bouchamel sauce. We're gonna make a roux, I've already melted some butter, but to that I'm gonna add about uh, half an onion and two cloves of garlic. We're gonna saute those just a little bit in there. All right, get them cooked in a little bit here, and we're gonna add our cup of flour to our cup of butter, which makes, as we know, a roux for our bechamel sauce. Now, you're gonna add about four to five cups of milk, whole milk. One tablespoon of dried mustard powder. And one half tablespoon of pepper, black pepper. Cook that about five minutes. All right, so we'll whisk that a little bit more. So Chris, you have a new record out now. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit more about that? Okay, um, the record's called Quietly and Dramatic. It came out on October 12th on Candlelight Records in the U.S. and then it comes out on November 2nd over in Europe. And Killer, man, it is a great record, a fantastic sophomore release. Um, so have you done anything differently this time as opposed to your first full length? Well, the first full length, I was uh, still operating really as a solo project. Um, but this one, you actually have a whole band. This one, yeah, we're we're a real band now. We've grown up, or, you know, big boys. boys. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and uh, you know, originally the guys were playing live. We're just going to be live members, and then it was going to be, oh, you'll maybe play a song or two, and it's like, fuck it, cool. you know, you guys, we're we're a band. So, dude, you're a great live band. Seen them, so check out Whoa, check out MySpace. Out. We'll, uh, you know, fuck MySpace. Try to check out. No, we don't have a band. We'll have a band camp. Check out Last FM. Fuck MySpace. Last FM. Fuck MySpace. All right, well, let's start adding our cheese to this uh, cheese sauce because that is the best part indeed. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit at a time now. We want to melt it in through. So now that the macaroni and cheese is in the pan, we have to make our topping. And the topping is really simple. All you got to do is take two cups of breadcrumbs, and I am melting a half a stick of butter here. A lot of butter in this thing. Uh, and while that's melting, getting ready for the topping, um, you're a busy guy. You're doing a lot of things. Uh, bring me up to speed about other uh, projects you're working on. Okay. Well, yeah, like you said, I try to stay really busy. Um, the biggest thing, I guess, coming up other than Woe is uh, I've been playing drums for Creed. Um, and nice. we have uh, new record. New record. Yeah, uh, we have a new record coming out. I'm playing drums on it. Uh, it's also coming out on Candlelight Records at the end of the month. Um, I'm a bad band member. I'm drumming on it. Um, pretty excited about it. Cool. Um, so yeah, we got speaking band. of drums, you play drums actually in another band. I too. do play drums. Um, I play drums in a uh, grindcore band uh, called Unrest. Though there's another Unrest, so we're probably gonna have to change our name. So and you're and you're also doing uh, the Philly Metal stuff too. Yeah, online. yeah. I run a site. Uh, I run PhillyMetal.com, which is something I put together just for the local scene um, to have a place to plug shows. Really, I was tired of awesome shows having like no attendance. So we, we all appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. I try. Cool, man. Awesome. Well, this is getting uh, getting melted up. So if you want to go ahead and uh, hand me those uh, breadcrumbs, we can make our top. Now that we have the topping on, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes until it gets golden brown. Alright, so taking this out of the oven, I've let it sit for about 10 minutes, and now it's ready to serve to my guests, along with the collard greens. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to serve it. Everyone's going to be stooped. All right, so here we go. Your mac and cheese and collard greens. I got my black metal family here ready to enjoy this and we're going to enjoy it with the Yards Philly Pale Ale. Local boys make a great pale ale which is good for sharp cheeses like cheddar and Asiago. And you know what, it's gonna go really well the hops with the smoky flavor of those greens. So without further ado, gentlemen, let's drink and eat. Cheers. Thank you. 